Hi guys, it's Leaky and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Leaky and I'm going off active first, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today I have a super exciting video. Um, you know, some of my uh, wildest dreams have come true and uh, this is of course also thanks to you guys who've been supporting me and watching my videos, commenting on my videos for some time. And um, I'm I'm proud to say, you know, I mean, if if, you, if maybe I should I should give a little background story. Um, if you don't know, one of my favorite activewear brands is Buff Bunny Collection, and I have a whole you know playlist with a bunch of videos reviewing um, a lot of their collections. I'm gonna link that playlist up here. And you know, one of my dreams since even before I started this YouTube channel was for them to send me some stuff and. Um, a few weeks ago, I had a DM from Buff Bunny Collection asking, you know, if I'd, I want to, you know, if I'd be happy to have them send me some of their pieces. And I was like, is this, is this real? Is it a dream? Is it, you know? And of course I said yes. And um, I, I have a box. I haven't opened it yet. I also really tried not to, not to see what they were sending me. So I could be a little bit surprised. Um, I glimpsed a few items, but you know, I also try to not think about it, so I would forget about it again. And I've had this box lying around here now for a few days, um, you know, waiting for me to have time to film this. And yeah, so Buff Bunny Collection sent me a few of their items. I do not have a coat with them yet, so you know, hopefully that's also somewhere in the future. But I'm really, really excited to, um, you know, share what's in this box with you to review the pieces they sent me and um, also so I, I gave them my sizing for like different things and we'll see what kind of sizes they gave me um because they also know you know how things fit and stuff like that so we'll see how that works out and I think there is a bunch of new pieces in there from the seven collection that they recently had and also a few pieces that weren't part of the seven collection and I of course also still have my seven collection haul video coming um i already actually started filming that but you know I, it's got split up in like four packages and whatever one of them is already here and has been here for a week and then another one i'm expecting to arrive today and the other two are still gonna take a little bit so i think this video probably will come out before the seven uh my actual seven collection haul video just so you know and I'm, I'm super, super, super excited to see what's in here, what we got. And um, yeah, so I did not pay for these things. Buff Pony Collection sent me these items. I did have to pay import fees. So, uh, you know, still not spared from that. <laughs> but otherwise, you know, um, yeah, Buff Pony Collection sent me these items. But of course, I will always give you my very my very honest opinions about things but of course I do like Buff Bunny Collection a lot so there's that as well and you who have watched my videos for quite a while might know this too um of course also for the occasion I'm also wearing a Buff Bunny uh, Collection sports bra an older one from I think last year the secrets in the sand collection but yes let's open this package I thought it would be really really fun to uh, do this together here and um you know I'm just gonna use my scissors Hopefully not. I uh, <laughs> accidentally last time I opened uh, this package that came from the Sevens collection already. Um, I actually accidentally <laughs> ruined the sticker, <laughs> so that that was a little sad. But uh, hopefully not this time. And let's see. I also don't want to ruin the fingernails. All right, we got this package. I'm just gonna take the packing slip out of here, um, and then I can. I mean, it already says what's on there, but still, we'll we'll have surprises and it's a, it's a bunch of stuff it's a lot of items here and i would suggest we just start at the top sh sh shan't we <laughs> so i do have the alpha sports bra invented here invented here in a size small i'm generally a size small up top for my sports bras i also do have a smaller chest but a size small is good it's also what i told them for my sports bra sizing and the alpha sports bra i'm actually expecting one from um, that I ordered myself from the Sevens collection in a different print. But now we have it in the color Vanity here. So a nice dark purple. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a purple they had recently. Forgot the name of that one, but uh, this is a nice dark purple here. Perfect for the winter coming, you know. And the Alpha Sports Bra is actually uh, a crowd favorite that I haven't brought back in a long time. And I think people love it a lot. It's very, very, 
clivage. A lot of cleavage happening here with this one. It's made from their Nuber fabrics, so super soft and brushed fabric here and very, very soft. I always like the Nuber fabric because it's very body hugging. Um, it's a 74% iron, 26% spandex mix. And yeah, just very soft and brushed. And I haven't had an Alpha Sports Bra in a while, so I'm, I'm really curious to see this one. Like I said, very deep V, and then it's long line still, so not an elastic under the chest here, but it is a, a wider band of fabric. We have removable cup pads in here, and then you have some thicker straps also in this Nubra fabric. And then they crisscross in the back, and then we also do have more crisscrossing here in the back in the band. Yes! And we also do have a Buff Bunny logo on the side here. I'm super excited to try this one. Like I said, I haven't had a, an Alpha Sports Bra in a long time. And this is definitely like a nice, deep, dark color. This is from the new Seven collection. So I think they were trying to aim for like the darkest colors of every color they had. Like really dark and like Halloween-esque and stuff, you know? Also talking about Halloween, I, I, I did my nails. Uh, first time I do like a skittle mani and then I also have like some bats on my one nail. So like, you know, just trying to match um, the time of the year. But yeah, I'm excited. Let's see it on. All right, here we have the Alpha Sports Bra in the vanity color. So like a really a rich, deep purple. And, you know, I guess <laughs> depending on the lighting, it could look nearly black, but it is definitely like a deep, deep purple. And yeah, I haven't had an Alpha Sports Bra in so long, but this one is... You know, if you have a big chest, it might be a little too much, but for me with my small boobs, I actually really like what it does. You know, it gives me a little bit of a lift, a tad of cleavage, not a lot, but a tad, you know, and it's still very long lines, so I still feel like very, very covered. It's like, I don't feel super exposed or anything, and I'm also not afraid of falling out, so I don't think you necessarily need to size down if you have a smaller chest or something, because like... There's no falling out risk, basically, even for me with my small chest here. We have the nice thick straps. They're not adjustable. Um, they have this V2 Alpha Sportswear version with adjustable straps, but this one doesn't have adjustable straps, but the straps are stretchy. They're made from the same Nuber fabric as the rest of the bra, so they definitely will kind of adjust a little bit to your body. And yeah, not an elastic underneath or something, just a bit of fabric. But you also do have a seam under the chest here, or actually double seams. And then you have some seam detailing here. And it actually makes me feel really, really tucked in. Good side boob coverage as well. And then the back is just very, very strappy. So crisscross here and then also crisscross back here. I found when I put this on, you I had to adjust the straps a little bit so they would lay flat. Um, so just make sure you do that, you know, because otherwise they, they twist a little easily and stuff. But I think once you adjust them, you know, they should be fine. And currently I also don't really feel this cutting into my traps or anything. There's like, I think there is a slight potential, but since the straps are made from the soft and brushed Nubo fabric, I feel like there shouldn't be too much cutting in or anything. And support wise, I would say for me, this is actually a medium support, but I would probably say like, depending on your chest size, could be light to medium support. But I definitely feel tucked in, no complaints here. You have the removal cup pads as well. So depending on, you know, if you want them or not, you can, uh, you know, leave them in, take them out, whatever you want. And otherwise, this is definitely like, I, I don't understand why they haven't brought this back in so long. I think it's such a cute sports bra. Like, not too simple, but like still, you know, cute and just fits nicely with the Nuber fabric and long lined and, you know, just, I don't know, I just feel hugged. I feel good supported and yeah why why haven't we seen this in so long and like it's so cute i don't understand but uh it's back it's back and i hope we'll see it a little bit more Okay, so before we have the next piece, I also just want to show you the sticker that I just found in the package. This is also the sticker from their um, recent seven collection. So this one is the one I accidentally destroyed <laughs> from the other package. I got some happy. I do have a, a backup here and it's like super, like also like kind of dark. You see that little purple rose there. So it's like very, you know, dark and Halloween-esque as well, but I think this one is really, really pretty. And I don't know if you know, but the Sevens collection was like an athlete, um, f like athlete collection. So like Kara Corey um, helped designing this collection and set the mood. And I think her husband designed this sticker. So it's kind of cute. 
And uh, again, you know, matches my nails. And now I have an intact one because I did not <laughs> cut through this one. Yay. <laughs> so that's good. Anyway, let's move on. And that's nice. Like right on, uh, we have the matching piece to the uh, Alpha Sports Bra. So I usually do tops and bottoms um, separately, but I feel like now we can go in sets because I, th I think there's a few sets in here. Uh, so let's just move on to the rosa legging, also in the color vanity. And I also got this one in a size small. I also told them my Nuber legging size is size small. So that's usually what I go for for Nuber leggings or with Nuber leggings. And again, we have this like really deep purple color here. If you don't know, like generally my favorite buff bunny leggings are the legacy leggings, but in this seventh launch from which is uh, where these leggings um, came out in, in this color, um, Kara Corys, she prefers the rosa leggings, so we have a lot of different rosa leggings. And the rosa leggings are kind of like the simplest leggings you can find at Buff Bunny Collection. Nice and really high-waisted. I think they call this the ultra high-waist um, style, you know, basically. <laughs> no front seam, we have no top seam. You have a sl like slight dip here in the waistband, it's nice and wide as well. And then in the back you just have a nice deep V to flatter those glutes. No side seams, no nothing, so really not a lot of detailing, just a very Simple legging um, and also made from the super soft and brushed Nuber fabric. So that is, you know, again, very body hugging with some compression, but like it's not gonna suffocate you or anything. And also very, very, very stretchy. I do have a few Rosa leggings as well. And yeah, this color is just like so rich and deep and dark. And I think it's gonna be perfect for the colder season. And yeah, since these are super simple, I don't really have that much more to say. So let's just see them on. All right, onto these Rosa leggings, a staple Buff Bunny Collection legging. Very, very simple, super high-waisted. You can see that here. I do have a long torso, and even for me, this kind of goes a little bit higher than my natural waist. The natural waist is kind of here, but you can always just fold it over a little bit, however you want. My belly button is all the way down there, so definitely very, very high-waisted. We do have a little lower dip here in the front waistband on the seam here to kind of give you a little bit more compression for the lower tummy area. I'm nicely compressed, but not too much. It just really feels like a nice hug here. No front seam. I also don't have any camel toe issues with these in general. And then in the back, just your very, very simple V glue detailing, nothing too fancy, just, you know, doing its thing, not trying to, uh, you know, um, catch too much attention, just the right amount. And otherwise, no side seams, no nothing. Same soft Nuber fabric as we saw in this Alpha Sports Bra. And, you know, I just feel hugged. It's like, I wouldn't say it's like a naked feel because I can definitely feel I'm wearing leggings, but it's like a nice, comfortable hug. Um, I feel a tad compressed, but not too much. And the Nuber fabric is just, it's just good, you know? <laughs> so personally, I prefer the legacy leggings a little bit more over the rosa leggings. They have like more of a triple seam glute detailing and a side seam detailing, but actually, you know, I, I feel like I sometimes would also reach for these just because you know, they're, they're simple. There's like no fuzz with them. They're just like a very staple legging. Lengthwise, they are kind of a seven eighth length on me. I think all buff bunny leggings are because they all have like around a 26 inch inseam. Um, but yeah, the fabric is just like, you know, stretchy, a little compressive, just, you know, fits nicely. And it's just like the Rosa leggings is just such a stable piece. Um, I will also say last time I got Rosa leggings, they had this gold bossy stuff on top. And then I felt like I had a little bit of extra crotch fabric or extra fabric in the crotch area, but I don't feel this right now. Like I feel like they fit like a glove. And if you're in between sizes like me, I have a small waist, but like a bigger, you know, hip butt area, I would still always size down just because the fabric allows for that as well. But yeah, such a good staple.
All right, next up, I'm just grabbing the next thing, and we have the Wicked Pocket Legging in Wrath Red. So actually, I did order this for myself as well. <laughs> Haven't gotten it yet, because that's one of the pieces I'm still waiting on. Um, also in a size medium, I told them I would like the performance leggings, sometimes in a size medium. So um, uh, I actually also ordered the Wrath, sorry, no, what is it called? The Wicked Pocket Legging for myself, also in a size medium. And um, don't worry. Uh, I already know what I'm going to do with my extra pair. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is the... It's also funny, they, like, it's basically the exact color that I also ordered. Uh, but this one is also from the new 7th collection. And this one definitely is a pocket legging. Like, I'm already looking at this. There's so many pockets. So I recently reviewed um, Electric Yoga. I'm going to link the video up here so you can go check it out. And then I had a legging there also with, like, six pockets or something. And it wasn't even, like, a cargo legging or anything. And I think this actually, this these leggings might top that. <laughs> There's so many pockets in here. It is crazy. Um, but yeah, let's start with the with the very basics. So this is, um, you know, we, we just have the Rosa leggings that are very simple from their brushed soft Nuber fabric. This is a performance legging and not so simple. There's a lot of detailing going on here. Um, so the performance material is not their normal Elysium fabric. That's like the standard um, performance material, but here we have the 75% recycled polyester and 25% spandex mix. And, um, you know, definitely feels like performance -y, sleek, still a little soft, still very, very stretchy as you can see. And we have, like I said, so much detailing. We do not have a front seam, um, but we do have a lot of seam detailing here in the front. You have pockets here um, that are all the, go all the way around front and side. So these are side pockets that are kind of like a little... Um, angles and kind of you know end go go also smaller here on the side you do have a silicone tone and tone buff bunny logo here that i also haven't seen a lot so this is a little different um i think they've done something like this a long time ago when they had like their first set of like recycled um material performance pieces i even forgot what this launch was called but i think i think we saw like tone and tone um logoing there and then we also do have a top seam, which I personally don't mind too much for a performance legging. I think it actually helps. And we also do have a little drawstring on the inside situation. So you could actually even tighten that, which for me is actually pretty good because generally I'm a small in my waist, but like I need sometimes the, need the medium for like my butt, hip, thigh situation. So then if I can actually tighten the waist a little bit that's nice and i think this one is also specifically a good piece for runners because you have that drawstring because it is made from performance material so i'm not a runner but i also sometimes do very sweaty workouts so i still appreciate it um because i also do not want to have to pull up my leggings all the time right and then if you go to the back we have this like really interesting like you have a v glute detailing we also have this kind of like more heart-shaped seam situation here in the back so there's a lot to flatter those glutes and all these pockets at the top here. Do you see it? Four pockets here. It is crazy. And there are also pretty big pockets, I would say, you know? Like, you can definitely fit a lot of stuff in there. Um, not sure if I would use those pockets, but they're there if you need them. And then, like I said, I have the big two side pockets, so I think those are more for your phone if you wanna put your phone in there. The ones in the back are for like smaller things, keys, um, cards, whatever you need and then yeah like I said there's also in the front there's also like this interesting seam detailing so I just overall was super interested in these leggings the color is also pretty it's not like the brightest red it's not like um they have their salsa red it's like their most bright normal red um but like it is a little bit darker it just has like this more dark nature to it you know <laughs> like they were trying to do with those colors in the sevens collection and then we actually do also have like um this is kind of tight around the ankle here, but it's kind of like just laser cut. I don't even know what to call it, but like it's there's not really a seam at the end, but like it's, it's like fortified, extra strength, whatever, and a little tighter. So I hope that's not a problem. But yeah, here's the top seam again, so you can see it. And I'm just like really curious to see how these look on. I'm assuming they're going to be very flattering on the glutes, but let's see, shall we? 
Okay, onto the Wicked Pocket leggings. I'm really happy I got this in a size medium because the top seam is a little tighter, so I don't think I could have gotten the small over my butt. Like now that I have it on, it fits perfectly fine, but it's like really, if you have a bigger butt, bigger hips, you need to get this over here. So that is the challenge. And we have so many seams, so many pockets, so you can see this seam kind of like splitting up here. We do have, um, this little drawstring, if you want to tighten that a little bit, out oh, that hurt. Uh, I don't feel like I need to right now because the top seam has me covered and keeps me tucked in. And then also we have the pockets here on the side, which we can test for the phone. And yes, phone fits barely because they get a little bit narrower, but my phone fits with the protective case around it. So that is good. And we also do have a pocket on this side here as well. And there is a little Buff Bunny silicone tone and tone logo here on the side. On the sports bar, we had it here in the back. So it's not really like matchy matchy in that case, but you know, that's also fine. And then we have all these pockets here in the back waistband. Again, these I wouldn't use for the phone because they're not very deep, but you have them all here. So I think it is one, sorry, one, two, <laughs> three, four pockets here. So plus the two side pockets, we have the six pockets. And then you also do have like a little kind of rainbow glute seam-esque situation here. So not, not the, um, like a slight V here as well, but like a slightly different than what they usually do. And I think it's super fun to see all these different seams. Like I didn't know how I felt about this one before I tried this on, but I think it looks, I don't know, it looks fun, it looks interesting. And am I gonna use all those pockets? No, I won't, but you know. They're there. They don't really annoy me or anything. I also don't think they're like too, because I don't like them in pockets gape or something, but like, I don't think they do that too much. And overall, you know, I think the performance material is quite nice. Um, I feel like it's going to be nice and sweat wicking. It is not the thinnest performance material, um, but it, it feels good. It feels soft, very, very sleek for sure. Uh, lengthwise, these are maybe a tad shorter than a seven inch inseam on me. Oh, and one thing I should also point out. So when I tried these on, when I put them on the first time, uh, like now, <laughs> so this basically is just a laser cut, like fortified hem or something. And that is also a little bit tighter. So that one doesn't stretch as much. So I found it a little bit more difficult to put these over my feet. And I think like when taking off, it's going to be the same thing, but it, it wasn't impossible. It was just a little bit more difficult than a normal legging. So, you know, just, just letting you know, but otherwise I think these are fun. They're definitely very new and, um, you know, just something different. And I do like this, all the seam detailing. If you're not a big fan of seams, then maybe these aren't for you, but I actually think these are quite cute. All right, I know I said we were going on sets um, and I can actually make it work because I can kind of spot the red through it. I'm just assuming the red part belongs to the sports bra that matches those leggings. So let's just let's just see. And indeed, this is the Wicked Sports Bra in Wrath Red. Um, they actually also sent me a size medium. So I told them, right, like my top size is size small. So they did send me a size medium. And spoilers, I also ordered this for myself. And I accidentally ordered it in a size medium. I actually meant to get a size small, which is my normal sports bra size. And, um, you know, I already received that piece and I also already tried it on and I found it quite tight. And I was like, good thing my boyfriend accidentally ordered the medium. But now that I see that they also gave me a medium, I'm like, okay, so apparently this one just fits small. I didn't even know. Like, I, I did watch one or two review videos, I think, before I picked the pieces, but I didn't really 
uh, realize or notice that people set to size up. So that's interesting. But yeah, we do have the size medium here. And I can already tell you that's a good choice, I would say, to size up in general. Uh, but yeah, so this is the Wicked Sports Press. So this matches the leggings we just saw. And we also do get a little uh, wash bag with this. So this is a, a, a little gift that comes with this sports bra. And I can also show you why you might want to wash the sports bra in this, in this bag. So this sports bra does have an adjustable like kind of situation here in the back, but it is made from Velcro. And you don't really want that near any of your other clothes. So this is why you should wash the sports bra in this little bag. Just a thing, and like I usually watch anything with Velcro in an extra bag. Like you can put it in the same laundry machine as your other stuff. Like, I mean, I would wash red with red and not, not with anything else because I've had like bad experiences with that. Not with Buff Bunny Collection stuff, but with a different brand. Um, but uh, yeah, if anything with Velcro, I usually put in a little wash bag just so it doesn't really hurt any of the other clothes. So specifically, if you have active wear in there, like the materials can be a little bit more sensitive towards you know, Velcro situation. So I 100% uh, appreciate that they um, give you a wash bag with this because I know not everyone would have those at home. Um, anyway, so this is the Wicked Sports Bra, also made from 75% recycled polyester and 25% spandex. So it matches that um, fabric composition that we saw on the leggings, which I guess makes sense, you know, <laughs> it's if it's a set. And we do have like a high neck sports bra. I do like a high neck sports bra sometimes. I don't necessarily need all the coverage because I don't have a big chest, but I still like to feel like I'm tucked in and there's nothing I need to worry about, so it's good. And we do have a thick straps, a little bit of like some, some little curved seams here at the top to kind of flatter your chest. And then you have an elastic band underneath the chest. So usually Buff Pony Collection does a lot of fabric bands, but this is definitely an elastic. This is meant to be like a very supportive sports bra high support sports bra and then you also do have pockets here so like this whole set is just like pocket leggings pocket sports bra you have a side pocket here made from mesh then another side pocket on the other side also a mesh pocket and then you do have a bigger pocket here at the very very top of the back of the sports bra so this racer back situation ah, there also is a pocket and this is kind of like um you yeah, don't have really have a have a seam here at the pocket it's really just like laser cut and we also do have that tone and tone um silicone logo on here again and also the back kind of is like completely laser cut so there's no seams here you have a little keyhole moment and it's just really no seams just laser cut and this material also feels a little bit more rigid than this material in the front but it is apparently the same material because otherwise i would have added you know a different composition but like just how it's made i don't know what, what, what they did with it is different we do have a little uh plastic uh, situation here and then you do have a silicone buff bunny collection scripture thing here and like i said this is you can adjust this you can make it tighter you can make it wider so depending on how you need it to fit you know you can go all the way to here with that band if you need to if you need to make it a little bit tighter but you can also just make it a little bit wider. So this is actually quite good to adjust a little bit. And I really actually like this Velcro solution because I do not really like bra clasps. It's not my favorite thing. I can never like clasp them in the back. It's just not possible. But this, I feel like it's probably a little bit more possible to kind of just do this by yourself than like, like I really cannot do bra clasps. Um, so I'm, I'm actually curious to see how this goes. And uh, yeah, let's see it on. All right, here we got the Wicked Sports Bra in the color Wrath. And this is like, I mean, if I don't compare it to like another bright red for me, this looks very bright red, but like it definitely has like a, a kind of like, you know, more muted undertone to it, but it is still a brighter red. So yeah, but it's fun. It is again, a bit more long lined, but not as long lined as other sports bras we've seen. And you definitely have, have this like thicker elastic here removable cup pads and then this little seam at the top to kind of flatter um, your boobs and your your you know curves here good side boob cover so really not a lot of space for anything to kind of like sneak out high neck and then you have the thick straps here and boy am i happy that they decided to send me the medium because i feel like for a, for a medium this is 
not very big. Because <laughs> as, as, as I mentioned before, I usually do wear a size small in Buff Bunny Collection sports bras. And usually when it comes to like these high neck ones that have like the adjustability in the back, I even go to an extra small just because I don't need all the space for the boobs. And um, yeah, now we're here at a medium and I actually don't think it's too big or anything. Like maybe there's a tad of extra space for boobs in this area. And of course you can still adjust the, um, the, the strap here in the back, but I'm kind of like also, like I could still make it a lot more tighter. So I'm just demonstrating how you do this. You can just take this and then you make it tighter. Ugh. So this is the tightest, obviously not very comfy right now, but you can basically bring it all the way around even tighter to up here, basically. Or of course you can also make it a little bit more loose. If I put it on kind of like some of the looser settings here or the loosest I can, I can do right now, then there's definitely is too loose for me, but like there's such a big range so that you can kind of comfortably find your, your fit, I would say. And I think that's also actually pretty sweet that it is the elastic because this way you can really adjust it in so many different levels, right? If you have the bra class situations, then it's like two or three different widths, but this way you have like such a big range. So this is perfect for if you have like really small boobs, but like really big rib cage width or the opposite, if you have really big boobs and really small rib cage width, I think, because then you just size according to, um, you know, like I guess the, the rib cage size and then you just, you know, adjust. Um, as needed or according to the boob size. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but point is this sports bra fits a little small. I would definitely suggest to go up a size in general and yeah, you can just adjust it here or maybe just size for your boobs. That is the, that's a good question, right? Because I would say, yes, there's a little bit of extra space for boobs, but not too much and I don't really have a big cup size. So if you had like much bigger boobs, maybe you would even want to size up as well and just like kind of you know or in general for sure and then just adjust uh yeah i don't know <laughs> it's difficult to say because i don't have like different boob sizes to to uh, different rib cage sizes to recommend things to you but what i will say that there is not a lot of stretch in this band so because i mean i mean it doesn't need to be because what you do is you play with this right so that doesn't need to be a lot of space in this band for sure um, or a lot of stretch at all because he can just make it fit you. Um, yes. <laughs> and then as I mentioned, right in the back, the material is quite different and we have more of a laser cut situation. And I thought it might feel a little uncomfortable, but I actually don't think so. And now we also have this pocket here in the sports bra. And I'm just gonna try and see if my phone would fit in there. Just out of curiosity. Let's see. I'm also not sure if I would ever get it out of there. <laughs> Um, okay, I don't think my phone fits perfectly. It's like a hat's too small for my phone. Um, also, like if you put something deep in, you really need to be like a little bit able to reach low, right? Like kind of <laughs> needs to be a thing. And then obviously, obviously, I mean, it's not really obvious. We also had pockets here, but I wouldn't really put my phone there either. That's a little uncomfortable. But I don't know, for certain things, it might be handy to have that pocket here. And I can also show you it is a mesh. So people will be able to see what you put in there. Um, and yeah, I would also make sure to not put anything too big in there because your arms are coming up against this. So then it would be a little bit uncomfortable, so uncomfortable rubbing or something. Um, yeah, support wise, I would say the sports bra is a medium to high support. I would say it probably really depends on how well your boobs fit this space to be tucked in. And then, I mean, the band really adds to the support. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I would say it's a good performance sports bra. I like, I've never seen this uh, elastic thing here. So that is interesting. And I, I very much prefer it to the uh, bra class just because I can actually adjust it while I have it on. Um, one tip though, when you put it on, like put this on the loosest setting, then pull the sports bra over your head and then adjust it because I didn't, I left it open the first time I tried the sports bra on and then you know, it, it, it uh, un, undid itself from here and then I had to like, you know, get that back in there and stuff. And that was a little complicated. So I would always suggest put it on the loosest setting, then put the sports bra on and then, you know, you can adjust it and still in those, in that plastic uh, little thing, whatever you want to call that. Um, but yeah, I think it's a, it's a really interesting, there's so many pockets in here. I don't really know the reason for all the pockets, but that's fine. But I think like the thing with the uh, Velcro is definitely very 
um, innovative and new. And like I said, I haven't really seen that before. So that's cool. All right, moving on to the next thing. Let's see what we got here. This is the Revolution Sports Bra in H2O Blue. So this piece is not from the Seven Collection. Um, the Revolution Sports Bra in H2O Blue, I think, is a piece that came back in the Dreamhouse launch. Maybe even Dreamhouse 2.0. Um, I think this came out a long time ago, the first time. But uh, yeah, here we go. I like a Revolution Sports Bra. I like a Revolution Sports Bra. I also do like the H2O color. I do have this also in leggings and it fits really nicely with a good few other bright colors, bright pinks, the fashion print they had recently. And I also did get this one in a size small. And again, this is Nuber fabric. So the soft and brushed fabric that we know from Buff Bunny collection. Um, square neckline, which I find is to be super flattering on small chests. Removal cup pads, a long line again, so they have a band of fabric under your knee, and no elastic. And then the bag, it's just super strappy. Really, really cute. All the straps, a little metal ring here in the back as well. And then you just have your Buff Bunny logo here too. Yes, I like your Revolution Sports Bra. And this color is super vibrant, very, very different <laughs> than the colors uh, that came in the Seven Collection. But let's see it on. All right, here we have the Revolution Sports Bra in H2O Blue. What a color. It is like stunning, just like so stunning, like so bright. I mean, kind of summery, but I feel like you can also dress that for winter. But look at the sports bra. Flattering square neckline. Again, like from our small chest, I find it very, very flattering. You might get a lot of cleavage if you have a bigger chest, but you know what? Like for me, it works absolutely fine. Nice thick straps, nice side boob coverage, long lined again with this extra band here, but you also do have um, a seam underneath the chest to keep you a little bit more tucked in, removable cup pads, and then of course the star of the show, the star of the sports bra. I mean, yes, what a star is the square neckline, but also we have that strappy, strappy back. So here we go, so cute. I like that one a lot, a lot, a lot. We have this ring up top here, and yeah, just like super strappy, flattering, cute, everything. Support wise, this one is for me again, like a solid medium support, but I would say in general, depending on your chest size, light to medium support. Um, and yeah, like I said, good type of coverage, but of course, depending on, you know, how big your chest is, you might get a, a good amount of cleavage up top here. So yeah, um, I know some people with bigger chests don't like this bra a lot, but like, I think for everyone with a smaller chest, it's just like so cute, it's very flattering. And it's so long line, I feel like you could also get away with wearing this as like a top in summer, which is like some high-waisted pants, shorts, whatever. So, you know, you can go with that as well. They're definitely really, really cute. I love this color. And it is, again, this like soft brushed Nuber fabric. So, you know, just like a hug. And um, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite sports bras that I've done. I would say, and I mean, they also keep bringing this one back and there's a reason for it. And I think also there's like a halter neck version of this one now without the strappy back, but honestly, I love this strappy, strappy back so much. I wouldn't want to get rid of it. So yeah, let's move on. All right, let's go with the next piece. We have the PO Lifesaver short in H2O Blue. And they also sent this to me in a size medium. So I have reviewed some Lifesaver shorts before. Not sure if I got the ones that are updated because I know they updated the fit a little bit. So I'm curious to see how these ones fit. Now also usually with loose fitting shorts, sometimes I go like up one or two more sizes than I need to. Um, but like, I'm really curious to see. I like these shorts. I think they're super cute and um, you know, just lightweight and fun and flowy um and they're also made from like a lightweight material uh but yeah i haven't tried these actually in a size medium or in h2o blue before um this material is 97 percent polyester and three percent spandex and it is basically a double layer situation so we do have this top flowy layer with this overlapping detail here so kind of like this opens up you know we do have a high waistband and a drawstring so you can adjust the fit around the waist. 
and then we also do have some built-in shorts so you know the flowing material could otherwise if you didn't have the built-in shorts it could make you uh, flash people <laughs> involuntarily so we do have those shorts that cover you fully and i think this is like a shorter inseam two two and a half inches maybe so definitely not super long but you have that flowy part that protects you and yeah i think i have like two or three pairs of lifesaver shorts but like i said i'm not sure if any of them are the updated fit so um we will see how this goes for me we have a little logo here as well and you actually do not have any pockets in this one so just a little uh thing i think they also had like i think they were called the flow shorts or something those had pockets in the back i think but here i think we do not have any pockets oh no we do sorry i correct myself we do have a little side pocket in the second layer shorts so the the, the tighter fitting shorts and you do have a little pocket here with a little flap even over it to cover it so i feel like you could probably fit your phone in there keys whatever you need um so that's that yeah let's see it on all right here we have our shorts the lifesaver shorts here now in a size medium i usually get this one or i have like one or two pairs that i got in a size large and i found them a little loose but they changed the fit since then and now i find the medium i feel like you know they could be a tad bigger and i also remember that since they changed the fit some people prefer to actually really size up so i would also suggest that like it is not overly tight, but there's definitely a little bit more of cutting in with the shorts. Like the shorts are definitely a tighter fit now than they used to be. And also like overall the waist was a little tighter as well, which actually I don't mind because that one I always found was way too big. So now I feel like the waist sits well without me even, um, you know, doing the drawstring situation here. But also I do have a smaller waist and this is a medium. So um, yeah, it fits me well now, you know. <laughs> Uh, but yes, you can still tie it a little bit. You have this flowy um, top part here. And then the inner shorts are definitely short shorts, like really short. And this flowy part doesn't cover too much more. Just saying it's just a tad longer. We do have that one side pocket here as well. And I think you could probably fit your phone in there. I don't have it in reach right now, but you know, like there's definitely space. So let's say I have the uh, tissues here. You can, you can definitely you know fit that there and of course like with this tulip overlap depending on how wide your waist is or something it might overlap more it might open up a little bit more and for me you can see it's like kind of a little bit wider open um but i think that was the case for the other ones as well and then in the back you don't really have any pockets you don't get too much more coverage with the flowy part but like i mean it is a double layer situation right so no matter how light this color is like like they'll be squat proof just because it is a double layer situation so yeah just keep that in mind anyway like if you're concerned about this like double layer shorts are probably it for you just because it's two two solid layers of fabric so yeah um but i do like this flowy top part i also like that it's not too loud because sometimes those like more you know windbreakerish materials can be like super loud and i mean i'm not saying this is a windbreaker material it's definitely much softer but still you know the idea uh but yeah short short shorts for the summer um or if you like to work out you know in shorts or something <laughs> i would also say these are probably okay for running if you don't have a problem with uh, thigh shaping um or shorts rolling up i feel like on me they would roll up a little bit just because they are so short um and that just usually happens in general um so i mean i would prefer like a, a longer inseam version of this maybe but they are cute and i do like them I just feel like I liked the uh, non-updated version maybe a little bit better, but I like the update in the waist that it is definitely tighter there and not too loose. So there's like a few goods and a few eh, okays there, I guess. But yeah, I do love the color. Also good to note, um, so the Nuber fabric here in H2O Blue and then we have the like shorts fabric here in H2O Blue and they are the same color, but they are slightly different just because they are slightly different materials. Like, I don't even know if you can tell, but like depending on the lighting, I feel like it was a little bit more obvious, a little less obvious that it was and not 100% the same color just because different fabrics, like it's always a little different. Um, but yeah, I like these. Are they my favorite shorts? No, because those are the six inch legacies. But if you're looking for like a loose fitting short, these could be cute. All right, on to the next piece. This one looks a little bit bigger. 
Uh, let's see what we got here. We have the Cloud Joggers. I, I actually haven't tried the Cloud Joggers yet. I've only tried the Cloud, like, crop zip jacket, and that was about it. I've been considering trying them, but I haven't actually, and they did send me this one in a size small. Now, I remember seeing some of their um, affiliates saying that, you know, they could imagine or see themselves sized down in this, um, or just to, you know, have a little less of a, like, loose, loosish fit. So let's let's hope this is, uh, you know, this is good. Because I personally would always get myself joggers and like uh, medium, I think. Uh, just to, you know, not sacrifice too much of the loose fit. But we'll see how this works. I mean, th they have a reason for why they sent me a small. And actually they also did send me these in the color navy, so I'm excited. I think if I would have picked one from of the new colors, that they now uh, brought in, out in the 7 collection, I think I also would have picked navy. So this is good. <laughs> Oops, all this paper. <laughs> all right, so um, a lot of people love these joggers. They don't look super big. So I remember seeing, I think I tried their Untamed joggers once. Okay, I also, to be fair, got these in like over, over, oversized, um, which is why they look much bigger. But like for joggers, I don't think they look too big now um, or too loose fitting. So again, I'm a little nervous about the size small, but we'll see how this works. And um, I do like the navy color though, for sure. Um, so it's like a, you know, nice, nice navy. I think some of their colors had a little bit of a used look and the navy does too, but not too obvious. We have side pockets here. And as I mentioned already, so this this is one of the new colors that came out uh, with the seven collection. And it's a high-waisted pair of joggers. They do have a little cuff at the bottom, but it's not like super tight or anything. So definitely would fit anyone. We do have a little stitched in logo here on the left hand side around where the pocket is and then you do have the drawstring on the inside um i'm not the biggest fan of drawstrings on the inside just because you know it's harder to tie it i think i don't know um but i know some people just like to fold this over which doesn't necessarily work for me because i have a longer torso and that just makes it way too short but you know it's fine we have a drawstring i appreciate that and then the inside is super soft and brushed very fleecy so you can see that here, really, really nice and soft. And these joggers are made from 95% cotton and 5% spandex. So we definitely have some stretch to them as well. You can see that here, because I hate it when there's joggers or any kind of loungewear that does not have any stretch. Like, how's that comfortable? It's just not. So um, I actually like that there is some stretch to it. And I think it's also more than the what they used to have in their untamed sets. So yeah, but I'm excited. I'm excited to try it. Um, this could be a great lounge wear piece now for the colder season. And let's see it on. All right, this fabric is insane. I've, you know, like th this is so comfortable. Like I, I don't actually really want to take these off at all. And I am like beyond puzzled why I haven't tried these before. Like, I mean, how many joggers do you need, right? But like these, yes, you need them. Yes, I need them. Like, they're so soft, so cozy, so comfy. Um, I was concerned about the size small. They fit perfectly. Like, there's even a tad of extra space in the waist. They just has a tad of extra space everywhere. There's a stretch in it. Um, so if you want, like, more of a, you know, if you want more of a baggy fit, of course, go ahead and size up a little bit because you do have that drawstring. But otherwise, if you just want, like, a normal fit with these, you can definitely size down if you're in between. Um, like, these fit super nicely. Um, there's a little bit of space, there's a little bit of everything, and uh, I'm not suffocated. I'm just like nicely hugged by this super soft fabric. So yeah, I'm, I'm amazed for sure. Um, we have the drawstring, like I said, so the drawstring is on the inside, but you can of course tighten it anyway. It is an elastic drawstring and I always feel like that makes it a little bit harder to tighten things, but you know, it's okay. And uh, you know, let's tighten this and then you can just tuck it in. And so for me, these are perfectly high-waisted now. This is a perfect fit up top here. But if you have like a shorter torso or, um, you know, you're a shorter person generally, you could probably also, you know, do this. Fold the waistband over. I've seen some people do that. For me, this kind of results in a mid-waist fit. So I don't really like that as much, but you can definitely do that. You can go for that if that's what you want to do. 
Um, but yeah, for me personally, I need the, the space in the crotch area because this, this is becoming a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> so I prefer to just wear it like this. I mean, honestly, I also prefer a drawstring on the outside, but these are so soft, I actually don't really care. Like, and since the drawstring is actually stretchy, I just tie it once and then you can still pull them over your butt, you know, and stuff. So you don't actually need to untie it, which is also quite handy, actually. Less, uh, less, you know, tying and untying. So that's pretty good. We have nice deep pockets here. And I'm trying to see if I can see my phone. I can. Let's check how, how well uh, the phone fits. Oof. There we go. Got it and the phone fits nicely in there. It's just gone. It is tucked away in this pocket here. So it's also pretty nice and handy. Pockets are also super, super soft on the inside. So just really cozy overall. Lengthwise, these are a full length on me. So that's perfect, perfect fit. Um, you can also see that they're like, yes, there are like, you know, kind of like hugging you, hugging all your curves. And then at the bottom, it's a little bit wider around the ankle. And we have a, an elastic there, but it's not cutting in or anything. So it's just like a perfect, perfect jogger fit. And the fabric itself kind of feels like so soft, like kind of a little bit like velour, but not like really. If you're a person who doesn't like velour, don't get discouraged <laughs> by me saying it feels like velour, but it's just like so soft. And then on the inside, it's also just like, I don't know if you can see it, but like nice and soft without being like too, how can I say this, without being too thick. Like, I mean, they are thick enough, you know, they keep you nice and warm and cozy, but it's not gonna suffocate you. So like, I'm not sweating right now. I'm not feeling suffocated. So you could also wear these as like a workout piece, I think. Um, or of course, you know, if it gets a little chilly outside, just throw them on top of your leggings, just because there's so much stretch and everything that's gonna fit on whatever, on top of whatever you want them to fit on. Um, in the back, it's like just really simple. There's not really any, um, like no pockets or anything, no detailing, just like nice and high-waisted. Uh, so that's that, but you know, I don't really care. As long as I have pockets in the front, as long as it's nice and high waisted, stretchy, soft, cozy, everything, um, I don't mind. But yeah, I really don't understand why I haven't tried these before. Like, it's insane. <laughs> like, why? How? It's, it's so weird. Like, these are amazing. Like, are they the best joggers I've tried? Quite possibly, you know? And I don't say this lightly. I do have like one or two favorite pairs of joggers that I have, but like, I feel like these might just take the cake. So yeah, I also do like the color that's like um, blue here, super pretty. And it's also kind of like a little bit of a more, I don't want to say used look, but it definitely has like some, some I don't know, shading to it. I don't know, it's really hard to see. You can see some fuzz on it though. So of course it's gonna collect some lint. Um, but yeah, really hard to see. Uh, the, but it's like, it's not like a, it's like more of a grayish tone to it maybe, but it's so pretty and these just fit amazing. Like I said, I was so concerned about the size small, but like it's perfect. I mean, they, they should also know, you know, what they're sending you, I guess. And um, yeah, if you're in between size down, unless you want a baggy fit, then of course size up. But you know, I think it's actually like, how do they fit now? I, I love how they look on me. They still like kind of accentuate the butt a little bit, you know, um, and it's just, I don't know, it's just so comfy. I don't really want to take these off at all. Like, actually, I can, I can tell you that. So I was, I was wearing these the, the other day and then I was supposed to go to an amusement park and I was like, I was considering just wearing these. I was like, no, it's okay. I'll just put on another pair of leggings, you know, but like, I was seriously considering doing that. I usually never go out in sweatpants. Um, I mean, unless I just go to the store for like two minutes, it's been two minutes, but like, otherwise, I mean, <gasps> these are just perfect. Like, how did they do this? Like, I really don't understand. And they like, like I said, so much stretch still and so cozy and comfy and everything. And I think I talked about this enough now, but uh, yeah, they're perfect. All right, let's see what's next in here. It's also a big bag. This is the matching cloud long sleeve crop, also a navy, also in a size small. Again, so much paper. <laughs> All right, so yeah, like I said, matching piece. 
This is um, a very cropped uh, piece here as well. So if you're more of a fan of non-cropped things, I've definitely seen people say that you could size up in this like two, three times, and then you have like a more longer oversized situation with this. But if you like a good, really cropped thing, then this could be for you. And it feels so nice and soft. So soft. Like even the outside feels really soft. Like it just looks like your normal uh, sweatshirt material, but it is definitely much, much softer than your normal sweatshirt material. Um, yeah, this is also the same 95% cotton, 5% spandex. So we do have that stretch. I feel like it looks even stretchier than the, the bottoms. Um, and then of course the inside is also still fleece lined, nice and soft here. We do have a stitched in logo tone and tone here in the back as well. I really appreciate they went for more minimal logo situations here. Uh, on this one, I don't really like big logos. Uh, and yeah, we do have an elastic here at the bottom, but it's not tight or anything. So there's definitely a lot of stretch still in there as well. And you just have a normal scoop neck here, nice long sleeves, a little cuff here. Um, at the bottom of the sleeves as well. And I kind of expected there to be like a big buff bunny scripture like stitched in, but there's nothing here. So really, really minimal logoing. Uh, Cause I thought their cropped uh, cloud jacket had that. But yeah, I don't see that here at all. And I mean, I appreciate it. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of big logos or anything. And even if it's tone and tone, you know, it just looks more clean without that. So uh, yeah, but I'm excited. It's, it's so soft. Like I feel like I kind of just want to put it on. Don't take, not take it off. Um, yeah, let's see it on. All right. I don't know why I haven't been super hyped about this cloud fabric before, but like this is this is literally like sorcery. Like how did they do this? It is so nice. It's so cozy. It's so comfy. Like I feel like the the zipper jacket, the one that I have, I, I it didn't feel that way, but like. Cause if, cause if it had, I feel like I would have tried the joggers and this top and everything, like everything cloud, like before, you know, <laughs> but before the, they sent me this, I don't know. I'm, I'm so confused, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, I'm so surprised at how good this feels. Um, I will say this is definitely a short, short crop. So as I mentioned before, I saw some people, um, saying like you could size up a few times, two, three times if you want like a little bit more of a loose um, and longer fit. So if you're not like super into cropped things and you also don't want oversized, maybe this is not your thing because it is definitely very, very cropped. I love cropped things. Don't get me wrong. I love them. Um, but it also kind of depends on what sports bra you wear underneath. Now I'm wearing the Wicked Sports Bra underneath so you can kind of see this a little bit depending on how you move um but I still think it's so cute and it definitely fits fine like there's like there it even still has some oversizedness um so like some some bigger sleeves and it's just like it is just short this is just what it is the elastic is also still very cozy not cutting in or anything high neck and I mean this fabric like it is it is uh you know so good like it's it's so soft I don't know what to say it's just I don't even want to take this off anymore. It's just so good. And I love this, like the navy color is just like such a nice cozy vibe and just, ah, yeah. And I feel like also the crop top kind of goes a little bit higher on the sides. I don't know if I'm just imagining that, but like, you know, kind of looks like it. And yeah, like I said, depending on what you wear underneath, you might be seeing that peeking out a little bit when you move around, but uh, you know, if it's like a short line sports bra, you're probably fine. Also, you know, what's the harm in your sports bra peeking through a little bit? And if you have that cloud bralette that comes, like they, they have that and like, you know, the same colors. And I guess it also doesn't really matter. I didn't try that one yet. Um, but yes, wow. I'm very positively surprised. I feel like a nice big hoodie with like a nice big pocket would be amazing in this fabric as well. I don't think they have had hoodies in a while in this cloud fabric. I feel like the first time they launched cloud fabric there was hoodies, but uh, I don't think in a while, but they also have the bolero, those ridiculous little sleeves. <laughs> but uh, I think it looks very cute, um, the bolero. It's, yeah, but I don't know. It's just like, this is just amazing. So soft, like so soft and also so stretchy. Huh? All right, wow, we already got a lot of pieces, but there's still something left in here. Um, and let's see what this little something is. It is big. And um, it is the Game Changer backpack. It embossed bossy print. 
Okay, let me just uh, unwrap this plastic and then we'll see. All right, so I do have a little history with Game Changer backpacks. Um, I have a whole video on them, so I'm gonna link uh, the video up here. So the problem with, I had with them is that they don't usually withstand the stuff, the amount of stuff I put in them, and I've had their straps rip a little bit. But I still think they're super pretty and I haven't found a substitute yet because it has so many features I really, really like. Like that laptop sleeve and the pockets on the side with the zipper and everything. So I haven't really found a substitute yet. I still have one that is functioning. And they brought out this embossed bossy print version. I was like, oh my god, it's so pretty. But am I really going to spend money on something if I don't know if it's going to last, you know? But you know what? They've made the decision for me. I mean, I, I didn't spend money on it, to be fair, but like, it is the embossed boss. I mean, this is what it said on the plastic, the embossed bossy print version. And it comes in this nice dust bag with a little Buff Bunny logo on here. And let's just unwrap this because it looked so pretty on the pictures. I was like, I kind of want it. I kind of want it. And it, oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh, oh, it's so pretty. Look at this. Oh, because you, you see the, the, the dots, so it's like, it's dark, but it has like so much depth to it because of this like, the, the bossy print, but like it's, they call this the embossed bossy print because it's black on black, but it's so shiny. And we have a little like silver detailing here and everything, and it's so pretty. So I used to have a black marble one, I also thought it was pretty. Now currently I'm using a white marble one. I think the white is a really bad backpack choice because it looks dirty so fast. But with black, I never saw any of that dirt. So I'm like, this is perfect. This is perfect. It's shiny and it's so pretty. Um, so let's talk about the features of this backpack. If you're not familiar with it. So it does fit a lot of stuff, <laughs> for sure. I used to be able to like pack my laptop in there, work stuff, all the gym clothes, everything in there basically. We do have a little like meal compartment here in the front. So this one is specifically insulated. So you can uh, put your food in there, keep it warm, keep it cold. It's gonna take away a little bit of the space of the whole backpack if you put stuff in here, but it is there and it's collapsible basically. So you can use that space if you don't put anything in there. And um, all the zippers have like, you know, a little Buff Bunny collection logo on there. I hope you can see it. Well, I shouldn't say all of them because there's this hidden compartment, laptop compartment, one that is just tone and tone, just black. Um, and this one doesn't have a logo exactly, but it's like, it's here. So you can put your backpack in there. I also sometimes put like paper, like documents in there basically, because this one uh, doesn't like fold over too easily. We have adjustable straps. They also have that bossy, uh, print on there. We do have this black strap here and yeah, what I really like about this backpack is we have side pockets. You can put stuff in here so there's no zipper but you also have the zipper ones and I like those a lot and I'm looking for, I've been looking for backpacks that have that because for me I like to put my headphones in there, just a keys or something and then it's really easy to access while you're still wearing the backpack and we have that on both sides here so you, you can always put something here and then always have the zipper pocket on either side so that's pretty good and then the main compartment also has a lot of pockets so let me just show you also tone and tone so if you have the white one like uh, I have the white marble one currently then it's all white here we have a, like a big mesh pocket here in the top where I like to put tissues we have a little bottle holder don't usually use it for my bottle but like for my charger and stuff so I can easily find that and then at the very bottom <laughs> you do have another one I'm not sure if you can see it that has a zipper so sometimes I put my wallet there or something some uh, important travel documents or whatever um yeah but this one looks so pretty. I like the embossed bossy print. <sighs> yeah. So I will try to, um, you know, not break this one. So what I want to say is with the Game Changer backpacks, as I mentioned, I, I wasn't super lucky with those um, because for me, the straps just kept breaking basically so like kind of ripping off slowly because I put a lot of stuff in there so I would be a little careful with the amount of weight you put into these backpacks um yeah I put a lot of weight into there I, I have no idea how heavy things were that I carried all the time so I just put everything in there that fit and it was maybe a little too much over time 
Um, but I will try to be a little bit more careful with this one because it's so pretty. But of course, you know, I still want to use it because this is what she should be doing with backpacks. And like I said, it's so practical with like the, the side zipper pockets and everything. That laptop sleeve um, definitely also fits bigger laptops. So my work laptop was only like, I think a 13.5 inch laptop. I now do have a 16, 15, 16 inch laptop. Um, that's my personal one. I actually wanted to always try if that fits into this backpack. So let's do that. I'm just quickly gonna grab that backpack, uh, that backpack, that laptop. <laughs> All right, laptop acquired. I have some Buff Bunny stickers on there. And um, this one is actually also a heavy laptop. I just want to, you know, find that out. But this is the one I'm currently, or my boyfriend currently edits the um, videos on. Yeah, this one's not gonna fit. So this one does not fit. This is a, I think it's a 15 inch. That is a little too big. But I can show you my little work laptop. That definitely fits. So this one is, so this one is a 13 and a half inch and that one fits easily. And there's like definitely a little bit more space, but this one is also less thick than my personal laptop. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about what you want to put in there. Um, it might not fit if you have a bigger laptop, it will definitely fit a small laptop. Um, I mean, I also think like this one is not too small. It's, like I said, 13.5 or 14 inches. So that is pretty good, but the 15, is a little too big. So just showing you there's like a tad of space missing here. Um, maybe just like not even a centimeter, not even half an inch. But yeah, so I would say it's it's good for 14, 14 and a half inches probably. Um, just keep that in mind. But otherwise this is like a really good laptop, laptop, a really good backpack. I, like I just like the side pockets a lot. I think this is, I mean for a gym bag for sure. See, I'm not just trying to see if it actually fits the main compartment. Eh, no. Just trying just trying to get my laptop in there in one way or another, but no, it's not gonna work. Um but yes, so I I think this one for a gym bag is great. I heard some people say they like to use it as a diaper bag. Um if you go on travels, I think this one is also easy to care carry with you if you're traveling because it's collapsible. Like it collapses so well, so easily. And I like to just, you know, if I don't have a ton of hand luggage or something. Um, I just put this in my bag. It doesn't really weigh anything. So you can just have that for when you go on hikes on your vacation or something, or if on your way back, you might need an extra backpack or something. I like to bring that and it also usually goes through as a personal item. I think it's really theoretically a little too tall for that, but since you can just easily like, you know, crumble it as long as it's not super uh, fully packed, it goes through as a personal item, no problem. At least I haven't had a problem so far with this one as a personal item. And yeah, it just fits a bunch of stuff and um, just make sure you don't overpack it basically. <laughs> That's the best tip I can give you. But yes, also just so you can you can kind of visualize how this looks on a person, size-wise and stuff, we will also see this backpack on. All right, and here we have that little backpack. It's actually not that little. I mean, I guess it's kind of little, but it does fit a lot. And it is so cute. Yeah, I wanted to show you how it looks on. I just like shoved my laptop and the smaller one <laughs> and two books and a jumper in there so that it's a little bit filled. It kind of looks ridiculous when you put a backpack on that has like zero in it, like nothing. <laughs> so yeah, I felt like it would be nice to actually add something to it. And you can kind of see how big it is, how it fits. Um, I always find it very comfy to carry. Like even now I don't really feel like I have a laptop in there. So that's nice. And it is also not super like massive. It's not going to swallow you. And um, yeah, I mean the the embossed bossy is definitely very very cute i like it it's super pretty and depending on the lighting you might see it a little bit more a little bit less and you can see the hardware here too actually now i can also take it off <laughs> just show you but yeah it is definitely like cute and you know just like a, a super simple super simple backpack and i can also show you what i mean with these zipper pockets that i like a lot so if I want, if I put my keys in the zipper pocket, I can just easily grab for it here, get it out and then, you know, close it and do whatever. So it's like very hands-free, which is what I like a lot as well. And the zipper pockets are just a little bit more secure. Of course, I can also use this pocket, but for like more valuable things, I would always put them in the zipper pocket and I can just reach it while I still have the backpack on my back. So that is a big plus.
All right, guys, it's conclusion time. You know I like my Buff Bunny collection things. Um, I also just, again, want to say a big thank you to Buff Bunny Collection for sending me all these things. Um, I mean, I love them. I, I, I love most Buff Bunny things, you know, anyway. So it's not, it's, it's, not, it's not, you know, it's not because they send it to me. It's just because I love Buff Bunny Collection in general. But I'm just so grateful um, for them to send me this stuff. And also, of course, for you guys. As I mentioned in the beginning, you've been supporting me, you you watch my videos, you, uh, you know, you comment, you engage with me, and this really means a lot, and it's just, I don't know, I just can't believe that basically, you know, I mean, I've been, I've been dreaming about this day when they were sending, would be sending me stuff, and I always thought, like, I would have to be, you know, messaging them and be like, um, hello, I have this YouTube channel, <laughs> can we, can we, you know? Can we can we do something? <laughs> and then they messaged me, and this is of course just because, you know, also because you guys are like, yeah, I, are watching my videos and supporting me, subscribing, liking, and you know, that's I'm also very grateful for that. And yeah, this wouldn't have happened without you. Um, I'm also of course so proud that they did see my YouTube channel, and uh, you know, as it's growing, um, you know, I mean, I hope I hope to get more more and more brands like you know seeing me <laughs> because of course like I don't always get stuff sent to me for free which also means I do spend some money on um, you know making my videos on getting items of course most of the time or not most of the time but sometimes I can you know return things and um, but like especially when it comes to brands that are situated outside of the EU that's harder for me to do it is way more expensive to return the items I've never returned anything to Buff Bunny collection for example just because it's not really a viable option for me and that that of course makes me even more grateful when uh, brands outside the EU sent me things because then I don't need to worry about like having spent all this money on stuff and I can just give you more input and more information about things so yeah, I'm I'm super grateful for you guys. I'm very grateful uh, to Buff Bunny Collection, and um, I'm just so happy. Like I I can't believe I'm actually doing this video. That this is a thing. And again, a big thank you to Buff Bunny Collection. A big thank you to you guys. Um, yeah, I will I will ask them about codes and things, but I, I think that usually takes a little bit longer. And I'm really hoping I'll get more sent more stuff by them. Um, you know, so I can give you more input on items. Uh, because as I said like if I buy for myself of course I always want to like buy all the things but I have to be reasonable and uh, you know can't spend all my money on this I also need to like live and eat and whatever but of course if they were to send me more things that would make it a little bit more easy uh, to do more reviews for you guys and to review more pieces for you yes so yeah like I said I don't really have a quote with them yet I will you know ask and uh, see what happens and just uh, be patient and positive and everything this is how I usually am in life and it has worked out so far for me I would say in most in most aspects of my life at least um yeah I don't know I'm just like still like so Stunned. And I know this video is also not super long again, but you guys know me. I'm very in-depth in and very detailed and everything. And I talk a lot. And uh, uh, yeah, I know that you guys actually also like that. So <laughs> that's good. Oh, most of you. Let's say most of you. Not everyone, but most of you. Um, I've also been thinking, I don't know uh, if you remember that video, if you watched it, if, it was, if you were just like, this is way too long. So I did like a whole history of Pothlex thing. And I was thinking to do the same thing for Buff Bunny Collection. So basically uh, go through all the stuff I bought from Buff Bunny collection by collection and kind of, you know, pick a few pieces here and there and then we can have a whole Buff Bunny collection history video, um, which would be a long video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've been thinking about doing that and, uh, you know, now that uh, the winter time is coming and it's getting darker outside and the weather is getting worse and whatever, you have more time to watch those things. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. I'll probably do it anyway. <laughs> but anyway, again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you haven't done yet that yet, you can like this video if you liked it. I hope you did. And you can also subscribe to my channel so you get notified about all the new videos that are coming out. You help my subscriber account. You know, you make me more visible for brands, but also makes it easier for me to keep this channel interesting and um yeah if you have any feedback any suggestions anything um just drop it down in the comments below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can you can also follow me on instagram you can dm me there i will try to also be more active on 
my Instagram. I'll try to kind of like find a little routine for me um, to, to do that. I'm usually very bad when it comes to social media, except for posting my yoga content. Um, but I will try to get a little bit better with that as well. And yeah, you can follow me on Instagram. You can see some pieces in action there as well. And um, hopefully more posts in the future when it comes to my uh, yoga, uh, yoga, when it comes to my non-yoga, my YouTube Instagram uh, um, page, <laughs> whatever. Words are hard, okay. I've been talking for a while. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. Like I said, without you, this would not have been possible. This would not have happened. And I'm just very grateful and happy. And, you know, I also I'm happy for my nails. I just want to point those out again. I usually never put so much effort into this, especially with those little bats. <laughs> just want to point that out again. And um, thank you so much for being here. I will see you next time. Bye.